Hey guys, Ken Stretz, Stretz Tactical. So today I want to talk about SIG 320 magazines, in particular the base plates. So if you look at the black mag, it's got the SIG in a round circle. And if you look at the burnt bronze magazines, not really coming out as burnt bronze, it looks kind of flat, dark earth coyote, uh, but it is burnt bronze surcoat. Uh, if you look at the two um, different base plates, the burnt bronze one is a little older and the black one is a little newer. Uh, who cares, right? Uh, well, you will if you swap your frames, right? So try to get it on the camera for you here. Um, you could kind of see there in the, in, in the shot, the burnt bronze one is a little thicker. If I look at my beat up ring finger over here, it's a little thicker at that part of the uh, base plate uh, than it is on the newer style magazines. So what, right? Well, the so what is, I'm going to switch the, the camera angle here for you. So here's the so what of it. And yes, safety Nazis, this is a clear gun. I don't have to show everybody on the internet. So here's the newer mag, right? With the, just the SIG on it and not the SIG Sour. Right in, right out, no, no issues. Here's my older mag, the burnt bronze with the SIG Sour on it. You can hit that all day long and it won't go in. Why? Get this for the camera here. It's getting caught on the bottom of the follower. So you could just order new base plates because I've swapped base plates and then no issues uh, and whatever that costs. Or you could modify your base plates. So what I did was uh, if we, uh, we look here at the workbench, I got sandpaper and files. I even pulled out my drill and... and uh, Use some of the stuff in this polishing kit here. And uh, little by little, a little bit at a time, probably would have went easier if I had a belt sander. Obviously I took the, the follower off and I just sanded it down and filed it down a little bit at a time on both sides. So now if I hold the two magazines together, there's a new one and the old one, Get that for you here on the camera. So if you look, they're a lot closer uh, than bringing the third magazine here. You can see how much material I've removed. Uh, again, that mag from this mag over here, and then the black. So now with the Remove material, goes in, comes out, goes in, comes out. I could probably remove just a little bit more because there's just a little bit more force required right here than with the black mag. Just a tiny bit more force for this. So I could probably, and there's a pretty good amount of space in here. But when you compare it to the black one, it's kind of hard to, to tell. But um, just ever so more pressure, just a little bit to get it to seat. And yes, it locks open. You know, no worries there. And it goes, goes in with a, a fully loaded magazine as well. So it took a little bit of time. Uh, so if you don't want to spend the time filing and sanding and I didn't buy anything special this is just some some files I, I had in my my workbench here some sandpaper whatever um, and even at one point I used this marker kind of wet the wet the sides of the uh, base plate and inserted it into the gun and whatever it rubbed away all right there's a high spot and I worked it down still could probably use a uh, a little bit more, but I, I spent a good amount of time. You know, I, 10, 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there. I, I probably put in over an hour. I don't have a belt sander or anything like that. So maybe if I had a belt sander, it, it would go a little a little quicker. And obviously less is more, right? You take off too much. There's obviously a reason why these uh, come up this high. So you don't want to take off too much because they're there for a reason, even on the new ones. The new ones just a little bit. Uh, thinner and kind of tapered in a little bit more. 
So there you have it guys. If you're gonna switch your SIG 320 from an older frame to a newer X module, you're gonna need to either modify your older magazines or buy new base plates. So if you don't mind putting in the work, have at it. And if you do, you just don't have the time, whatever, go ahead and buy new base plates. All right, guys, till next time, stay safe, train hard, and I'll see you on the range.